we decided to write a book um, called Corporate Venturing, Organizing for Innovation, because we were increasingly talking to companies and managers which told us that they were interested in knowing more about the best practices in corporate venturing. Companies are increasingly struggling with their environment, their turbulent environment which they all live in nowadays and they realize that they are very inert, that they cannot change easily and they are therefore constantly looking for new forms of organization, strategic alliances, merger and acquisitions, but increasingly corporate venturing. And corporate venturing allows them to set up startup units, small ventures that have an entrepreneurial dynamic, whereas they can still focus their core organization on, let's say, exploiting their current advantages. But what we noticed is that these corporate ventures are often ill-structured, ill-managed, and that companies are constantly looking for new sources of information about them. So what we did is we talked to uh, venture CEOs of eight large corporations within uh, the Netherlands, for example Unilever, Sonoma, Rabobank, um, and C Business, which is the venture organization of CZ Health Insurance. Um, and what we did is we um, interviewed them about how they organize their venture process within uh, their venture unit. Um, and we specifically focused on four parts, namely, do they use a model? Um, do they have a portfolio? How do they make sure that their venture organization is aligned with the parent? And um, how do they compromise their venture team? And by asking all these eight different companies these same questions, we kind of um, got a, a lead between the cases so we could make comparisons uh, between how one company is doing it and how the other one is organizing it. And that gave us some very interesting insights. From these cases, we distilled 10 best practices. For us, the most striking ones were, the first is team. What we see is uh, that the team is the most important success factor for corporate venturing. You need really good people that are either both have an entrepreneurial attitude as well as the ability to talk to the model organization. Secondly, we learned that uh, there should be really good alignment between the needs of the model organization as well as the venture. Otherwise, it simply doesn't work. And the third aspect is that partnerships between uh, ventures and external partners prove to be su very successful and might really give a boost to corporate venturing units. Jessica, what's next? Well, we have put all these eight cases into this nice book, Corporate Venturing, Organizing for Innovation, which we hope to share with the rest of the world, of course. And apart from that, we have created the Corporate Entrepreneurship Research Center, in which we share all our uh, outcomes and research by organizing, for example, roundtable uh, events. Apart from that, on our website you can also find additional information like uh, articles, blogs and video clips uh, containing additional information about corporate venturing.